I stand here before you, not giving up to the financial fiasco that the world hit me with, but following my heart and shooting for the stars. Thank you, President Khoury, for this generous introduction. But I want to share with you who I really am. 11 years into their marriage, a janitor and his housekeeper wife, who lost hope of having children, welcomed their first newborn son. This baby, me, brought them joy. <laughs> this baby, me, brought them joy and ignited their sense of purpose. At least, <laughs> that's what they told me. From dawn to dusk, my mother carried me along her broom and mop, cleaning houses in the neighborhood, while my father worked as a janitor at an esteemed nearby school, which I got into and pursued my education for free. <laughs> then life happened so fast. Who wouldn't agree with that? Yet I was aware of my environment. I was aware of my ambitions in life, and of the fact that I was a poor boy whose family could only provide him with an abundance of love and comfort. Reflecting upon my next steps, I found myself in turmoil, unable to afford work-class higher education, whilst my family struggled daily to gather necessities. I enrolled at AUB with an absolutely unclear payment plan. Into it, I've got decent financial aid and scholarships from AUB. I won the $30,000 A-list competition, I worked as a part-time student tutor, class of 2022. Things may look dark and bleak now. You may not know how things will work out. But have faith that your dawn is coming. I tell you my story tonight to insist on the truth that if I did not become aware of my reality, did not have the confidence that all these dots will eventually connect down the road, to not have the confidence to follow my heart and, get, and did give up on my own dreams, my life would have missed this magnificent change. 